Hey everybody, I am Jared Clark with Air Guns of Arizona. We're gonna be taking a look at a new rifle from Brokock, the Brokock Commander. What makes this one so unique and so fun is this new stock that they've added to it. You have a full adjustment here, as well as the ability to collapse the stock and carry it around with you. So we'll touch more on that here in a minute, but for now, let's take a look at everything that you'd get in the box with this cool little gun. So with the gun itself, you'll have a bag of accessories here. You have a handful of literature. So first off, the Brokock warranty card, and then you also have the Brokock Commander owner's manual. So with the Commander, you also get some spare breech seals for replacements. 10 shot rotary style magazine, and the nice extended female foster that all Brocock and Daystate rifles come with. Also, this one is installed on the gun, but you will get a single shot tray as well with each of these rifles. All right, so now that we've seen everything that comes in the box with it, we're gonna set the box gun aside and see what it looks like all completed here. We have mounted the MTC Viper Pro Tactical 5x30 power, and I figured a tactical scope for a tactical gun. As you can see, this one isn't your normal looking pre-charged air gun. They've kind of changed the script, so to speak, on this one. It, it is not a traditional look for a pre-charged air gun. And we're gonna start at the back, move forward and show you all of the features and things that make this rifle unique. Starting with this. This is one of the most standout features on this new rifle. This is a very popular stock in the firearms world. So if you're a big AR style shooter, or gotten into building your own guns, you most likely seen either this exact stock or a similar configuration of it. You have a full adjustment back and forward. So you have a small carbine versus on the bench. Now you have a full length rifle with a, with a full length of pull here. Very cool, very neat for anyone who does any kind of hunting, any kind of scenario where your gun needs to be different lengths. If you're carrying it around with you, you can close that up. It's a little bit easier to maneuver. It can go on a backpack. There's just a lot of portability with this option here. It is a free kind of adjustment. There's not preset detents that you can fit it into. It is all the way out. So what I've noticed in preparing for this video, when I'm shooting on a bench, I really like it pulled all the way out. That way I can really get into it. I can squeeze it, you know, get it comfortable against my body. When I'm shooting offhand, I prefer it closer actually. Get everything really tight. But it's cool because it gives you that option. You're not limited to one or the other. Say I wanna meet in the middle, I can go out a little bit and kind of have the best of both worlds here. So a lot of versatility, a lot of adjustment with this, and it makes it really accommodating to different shooting scenarios. So other than being able to come back and forth here as well, you have the locking release right here. So if you give it a nice squeeze, your whole stock will fold. And then it has a locking feature, so it'll hold it right here. But now you have a gun that is very compact perfect for like a backpack or carrying it around. I'm sure you could probably figure out a small kind of square rifle case that this could fit in really well, but it's just unique. This is really cool, I think. I think there's a lot of potential here for outdoor use, for storage in kind of unique places. The, just the sky is the limit when you have a gun that can really fold up into a really small compact package like it is here. Another cool feature with this buttstock, since it is a pretty common one in the firearms world, you have Magpul accessories, like this nice little sling hanger that are built and designed to use right out of the box. A lot of things that work on this gun, the sling hangers, um, trigger mounts. You have a handful of accessories that are made for firearms, but work really well for your air guns as well. So if you wanna carry this around with a sling, figure out a way to get a sling up underneath here. I think Magpul also sells an accessory for that and now you can carry your gun around without any problems. So cool feature that you get also with this stock, including the adjustability. You have the ability to snap sling studs in and out of this eyelet right here. Going on from there, you'll notice that you do have a Picatinny style scope rail. This comes standard on the commanders. So any kind of standard Weaver Picatinny rail will get your scope set up. You also have another Picatinny accessory rail underneath here. 
This one can be used for a lot of different things, any kind of accessory. My personal favorite is a quick detach bipod. Snaps right on, your gun's now very ready to use from a bench, from any kind of shooting scenario because you have this nice easy attachment right here for accessories. The bolt is a bolt action style, pull it straight back. And we also have the 10 shot magazine here. So the magazine holds 10 pellets, you cycle the magazine right here on the side, it comes back smooth. It's a very easy gun to cock. And as I've been preparing for this video, I've noticed it's not, I mean, it doesn't need to be handled with gloves. I was kind of, you know, really getting in there and giving it to this gun. It doesn't just look tactical, it is built very well so it can handle big boy treatment, so to speak. It doesn't need to be handled with gloves. And it looks that way and it actually is that way in practice. This is really beefy. It can be handled well, great for field use. Right in front of the bolt handle here, you have your power adjuster. This will open and close the transfer port, allowing more or less air. You have five different levels on the power adjuster, all the way to the left being high and you have this little indicator here. So all the way to the left is as high as it can go, down to the right is as low as it can go. You're gonna see a small adjustment there, but it's not gonna be huge leaps and bounds. This is kind of a micro adjuster to maximize your shot count and all of that good stuff. Moving forward on the gun, this one does have two gauges, one that says Brocock and one that says Huma. The Huma, as many of you know, is the regulator gauge. Huma makes great regulators. This gun is no exception. It gets a lot of consistent shots and that Huma regulator sitting in between the air supply and the valving is what's doing that for you. It works really well in this setup. Lots of shots, high power. We're getting right at about 30 foot pounds out of this gun and upwards of 80 to 90 shots per fill. We'll touch more on that at 20 yards when we crunch some numbers, but Huma regulator works very well in this system. And then going straight out here, you'll notice this does have the very popular 480 cc carbon fiber bottle. Lightweight option with a lot of air, so you can get a lot of shots. It's kind of become the standard for, for air rifles now, pre-charges. You gotta have a lot of air capacity with a, without adding a lot of weight. And so they went with the carbon fiber bottle. Works great in the setup. Each Brocock Commander does come with an 18 inch Lothar Walther barrel. These barrels are great for hunting, target shooting. It's just a match grade barrel that will pretty much meet all your expectations. This is not the barrel we're looking at directly here. This is the shroud. If you give this a twist, you can get to the barrel down there. All right, so shroud will pop off. There is your Lothar Walther barrel. Shroud just goes on and secures at the breech block here. On the end of the shroud, each commander does come right out of the box with this cool little muzzle flip accessory. This thing looks good. I would say it gives it a really good tactical look. It doesn't do a lot for the noise level. It's about the same with or without this piece, but underneath it, you do have a half inch shroud. So if, you, if noise was a concern, you have the ability to add an accessory, make it backyard friendly, and it can just kind of be your choice. But how they come, it looks aggressive, and it gives the gun a good clean kind of, like we were talking about, tactical, outdoorsy almost look, very clean. Like we mentioned earlier, a lot of the Magpul accessories, the trigger guard is another one that you can change with the Magpul accessories. It, it, it's a small thing, but it really lets you customize the rifle and utilize some accessories from Magpul that are already out there anyway. The Brokaw Commander uses the AK-47 grips. The one that comes with it is one of the better ones that you can get right out of the box, but there are other options if that's something you wanted to explore. Coming back on the back of the rifle here, if we open up the stock, Right underneath where the stock opens up here, you have a five millimeter hammer screw adjuster. So this will either increase the tension on your hammer spring or decrease it. So it's very easy to get to and it allows for customization. So kind of working with the hammer spring tension and the power adjuster up here and then the regulator pressure up underneath, you can really get this gun figured out, fine tuned and right where you want it for your best shooting. The Brocock Commander utilizes the quick fill foster fitting. You have a nice magnetic cap right up underneath the gun here. So when you're not filling it, it'll snap into place there. But that utilizes just the standard quick connect system that a lot of rifles use now. The Huma regulator is fully adjustable. You have a small set screw on the bottom that will either increase or decrease that pressure. Keep in mind, you don't wanna decrease the reg pressure while the gun is under pressure. You wanna release all the pressure in the system to move it down. Increasing pressure is no problem. Decreasing, you don't really wanna have any pressure in the system. The Commander is available in 177, 22, and 25 calibers. Today we're going to look at the 22 and crunch all of those numbers, but you do have three options when it comes to calibers. The safety on the rifle is just a paddle style safety that's up by the trigger out in front of it. Very simple to use, 
Since these are English made and coming from the Brocock factory, they have a long standing reputation for high quality and well built products. This rifle does come with a manufacturer's three year warranty here in the United States. So most likely you won't ever need to use it, but if you do, you're covered for three years, which is a nice offering from Brocock. We've given you a once over on this cool new design from Brocock. It looks really good. So we're gonna stop looking at it. We know that it looks good. We're gonna take it back to the range, put air in it, do some shot counts and sight in the scope. We'll meet you back at 20. So we're back here at the 20 yard range. We've filled the rifle up. It holds 250 bar with that reg. You can really be efficient even with that kind of pressure in it. And we are gonna be using the H&N Barracuda match pellets. This is a good pellet for shot count because it's nice and heavy. Got some good resistance on the valve. So we're gonna use the 10 shot magazine. We're gonna see how many shots we get per fill, calculate our foot pounds of energy off that. And then we'll do a little bit with accuracy here. So let's get to it. We have some results in front of us here. We got 100 shots per fill using the 21 grain Barracudas. My average was 802 feet per second. So if you punch those numbers, that's like 29.8 foot pounds, right at 30 foot pounds. So this is a 30 foot pound rifle right out of the box. You'll get about 100 shots, what I can say confidently at 30 foot pounds on it. Keep in mind, we did talk about fine tuning the regulator and the hammer spring. So for instance, in, in some other testing, we can get about 33, 34 foot pounds but granted, it's gonna have a negative effect on your shot count. You'll probably be getting about 70 to 80 shots. So there's a lot of different ways that you can set this rifle up. As it is right now at 30 foot pounds, I'm getting 100 shots per fill, which is great. I mean, very efficient. It's a lot. That's a whole day's worth of shooting for most people. So can't ask for more than that in terms of efficiency. So now we're gonna switch over to JSB heavies. We're gonna put a target downrange and we're gonna give you an idea for accuracy indoors at 20 yards. So let's get to that. Loading the Brocock 10-shot rotary magazine is very simple. It has the cut here for your finger. That's, that's, that's forward. You just put the pellet into the nose first, seal it with your hand right there, and then you give it a turn counterclockwise. You get a nice satisfying snap when it gets where it needs to be. All right, <laughs> so there's an entire magazine out of the Brocock Commander here. That's great. That's what you want absolutely indoors at 20 yards. Pellet on top of pellet coming through the magazine. That's great shooting out of the Commander. All right, so we brought the hearing protection, but not because the Commander is too loud, but because they make really fun reactive targets. So I've set four or five of them up downrange. We utilized one of those Magpul accessories we talked about earlier, which by the way, gives it a pretty good look in my humble opinion. Uh, but we're just gonna have some fun, try and do some offhand shooting and see how well I and the commander can do here. All right, <laughs> so it's just a lot of fun. Things like this, offhand shooting, getting a reaction target. They're what make pre-charged air guns so much fun. So what I'm showing you here though is the commander is every bit as accurate as you are and you'll have a lot of fun with it. Great. Okay, so we're here at 50 yards. I have the 10 shot magazine loaded up with the JSB heavies. We're gonna try and hold together a five shot group at 50 yards. The only other change you might see to the gun, I went ahead and added the AccuTac FC10 bipod. These are great for bench shooting, keeps everything nice and stable, and it looks pretty good with this setup. So other side note real quick. So we're gonna be shooting onto a splatter target paper. Hopefully that will really light up our group and help us see what size it is here, even at 50 yards.
Great. All right in the center there. Let's get down there. I can see it a little bit better with the splatter target and it looks good, but let's get down there and take a closer look. I'm really happy with this group. The gun shot great, pretty much effortless. I, I very much think this gun would do everything you want it to and more. It's more accurate than I am and this is proof of it right here. Shoots really good. All right, so that is the video for today. We looked at the Brocock Commander, this cool, unique folding butt style stock rifle, roughly averaging about 30 foot pounds of energy. We saw it 20 yards. You can just stack pellet on top of pellet. Took it out to 50 and saw that that has good accuracy for any kind of hunting, target shooting, competition, basically any scenario you could find for this gun. I think it'll make you very happy. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to like us on YouTube, subscribe to us on YouTube so you stay current with all of these videos. Follow us on emails, find us on Facebook, all of the social media ways, reach out to us and you can stay up to date with all things Air Guns of Arizona. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you liked it and I hope you come around for the next one.